we good? We're good? <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Talking to Yourself panel, where we all get to know a little bit more about what it's like to be a gaming YouTuber on YouTube. Can't wait to learn. Yeah. I know, seriously. <laughs> So, uh, to get started, we're going to do some questions that uh, we heard before about things that people want to know, and, uh, and then afterwards we're going to take some questions from all y'all, so get ready for it. Uh, to get started, why don't, why don't you all introduce yourself, uh, in case anyone doesn't know, because I know we've got people that are here for different people. So, introduce yourself and say one thing about, uh, in one sentence, if you can, what made you start doing YouTube? Hi, I'm Matt Shea, and I started doing YouTube because people said I should start making Let's Plays, so I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Hi, uh, I'm Jin Bop Gaming, and I started making YouTube videos because I have no sense of shame. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Uh, I'm the Game Beaver, and I did it because I like dinosaurs. Yeah. Is, that, is that good? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, that's what I like to see. Yeah! <laughs> I am DLive, and I started posting videos because I thought I was good at games. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm LD Shiloh, or Lizzie, and I started making videos to make some friends. <laughs> Honest. Uh, awesome. So, uh, to get started, you know, I think people were saying that it would be really interesting to know, like, for you guys, you, you know, you make videos and you, you know, you post them and everyone watches them, but... Are there any channels that you really like watching that maybe you don't even talk about the fact that you like watching them? Are there what, who, what other YouTube channels do you like watching? Like, oh man, that's that's some good stuff. Are we going in order? You don't have to. Whoever whoever has an answer, we can can, can start. Game Grooms. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna second I'm that. Yeah. They're actually like one of my major inspirations, <laughs> along with uh, Markiplier. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> And of course, Lord Minion 777 Wade. He's really yeah. Lord <laughs> Wade. He's quite a guy. Uh, I watch a shameful amount of YouTube, loads of gaming stuff, but also like other stuff, like beauty stuff and comedy stuff. So not, we're not just gamers, I don't think. Hmm. Yay, beauty yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll go next, I guess. Uh, I had three main inspirations. Like when I started, I was like, these are three channels that I like, and I wanted to like take a little bit from each. Robez, NerdCube, and Markiplier. Uh, I basically started my channel from watching uh, Uber Hacks for Nova. I thought it was very, very entertaining. Um, I watch Immortal HD and uh, Epic Rap Battles. It's probably one of my favorite channels to watch. Nice. You know, I guess these guys are pretty cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Jimbo. <laughs> So, so you guys started making YouTube videos, and you were like, okay, this is a, you, you probably, you know, at, at a certain point you were doing it to see what happens, but then, at, you know, you maybe something happened, you realized, oh, this is actually kind of heating up, and, like, people are watching my videos, and it's kind of cool, and people are commenting on it, and like, they want different things out of me. What was that moment like? And do you remember, was there a video, or was there a series? Like, what was the thing that made you realize that uh, the people really liked what you were doing? And anyone who has a specific, if you want to take time, I can talk more while you think about it. Uh, I, I have an answer. Mine was a little bit different because when I started, um, I started doing Surgeon Simulator speedruns. Woo, Surgeon Simulator! Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I was like, I'm going to post some speedruns. Oh, technically, I started in like 2011. I posted a couple of Minecraft videos, but nobody watched them. So, yeah. And then uh, one of them... So you almost were a Minecrafter. Sort of. Yeah. We don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get too far down there. Um, who wants to even to bring the Minecraft back? Anybody? <laughs> Nobody. No. Nobody, apparently. All right. So you made the right decision. Yeah, so, like, um, you know, I, I, one of my videos hit the front page of Reddit because I posted it there. I was like, hey, check out this. It's speed round. I, hit a, I made a world record. And, yeah, so then I got a bunch of subscribers for nothing. Um, <laughs> and then I had people saying, like, hey, make some Let's Plays, man. I think it was, like, one guy who's been, like, subscribed to me for, like, four years. And he was like, <laughs> you didn't make that Let's Play yet, Matt. So I just made a Let's Play, and it was awful. But uh, I don't know if there's really any point where I was just like, oh, yeah, it's doing good. But uh, it was definitely a big help when Rob has commented on one of my videos. Because back in the day, when you comment, it shows up in your activity feed, and people see that you commented on it. So I got like 1,000 subs in a few days from that. So that really, like, really kept, helped me get started, because I think he pushed me over 1,000 subs and beyond. So I really have him to thank for, like, how fast I grew, I think. Well, Thanks, so Rob <laughs> you, you had that process of actually, like, accelerating up to the point. I was... Uh, 
the reason I actually started YouTube was my friend uh, Adam, aka Sky Does Minecraft, pulled me into YouTube and I started doing it with him because I thought it was something cool that us as friends could do. And eventually I started branching out and doing my own thing. So I'm still sort of in the process of being like, whoa, you know, like being pulled into this whole thing. What am I doing? Ah, why do people lose? Yeah, I don't know. It's, um, I, I feel like it's something that never quite, go, quite goes away, although I haven't been in the game for too long, but... I feel like it's a constant sort of accelerating yeah. thing of craziness, you yeah. know? Yeah. Well, with me, it was like, because I always did dinosaur content, then Jurassic World came out, which was awesome. Uh, and I just sort of, like, followed that. Like, I did the toys, I did the games and everything. Just everything I would normally do, but, like, people really enjoyed that, and that's what sort of... Did you beat Trespasser? Yes! I love that game. It's so bad, but it's awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> With the one arm yeah. and then the boobs. Yeah, that, yeah that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, I think for me it was like Jurassic World. It really picked me up. I was uh, My channel started off with Gears of War and Call of Duty. So I played that a while. Then the, uh, some of the, I don't know why, but a lot of my viewers were like, play this game called Slender. It's, it's scary. And I was like, I never played horror games. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. And I, I, I got scared, but at the end, I enjoyed it, and I loved it. And then as I did more horror games, I started gaining more viewers. And when YouTube was paying me more than my actual retail job was, I realized, I'm like, okay, this is, this is something I could do. It's, <laughs> this is great. Like this, I, can, I, I can leave retail behind. If anybody has worked in retail, you know how bad it is. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, and Where then, in retail uh, did you work? And then the Five Nights at Freddy's thing came out, and that kind of exploded nope. my channel. Nope. 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 So. He worked at he worked at Freddy's. Freddy's. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that must have been terrifying. No wonder he wanted to quit. Uh, so I actually started off as a Call of Duty channel as well. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't very good at it, so that's why I didn't really pick up. Um, but then when I started Minecraft, I made some videos with Zach Scott because he had a Minecraft server. And then my channel kind of started to gradually grow. And I, th I feel like it's been pretty gradual, but everyone's always like, wow, your channel exploded. And I'm like, really? I've been here for six years. Yeah, I don't it feel like <laughs> that happened. It doesn't seem as bad like to, to, to the actual YouTuber. Like, it doesn't seem like, oh, you know, went crazy kind of thing because, you, you know, you slowly build up an audience. Like, people I are like, how did you feel hitting a million? Well, I mean, I felt the same way I felt when I hit 900. It's just one sub at a time, right? I think uh, when you go to conventions and you meet people that want to meet you as well, it's like, oh, people in other countries know who I am. That's how you know when you know yeah. YouTube's starting to take off. Wait, people watch me? <laughs> that's, that's weird. You mean it's not just robots? Oh, God. <laughs> Do you guys have any, like, countries or places where you have fans where you're like, oh, my God, like, people are watching me in Newfoundland? Like, what? The Philippines. Oh, yeah, same here. You guys, yeah. Singapore. I don't know why. I, I have a lot of people in Singapore that like me. I have no idea why. Shout it's out to like, Singapore. It's just like <laughs> up there on the list, and I'm like, okay, you know, what did I do there? <laughs> I need to go there. I have a lot of people, like, if I, I've gotten a lot of comments, like, come to the Philippines. I'm like, what am I going to do in the Philippines? <laughs> like, I understand people want to meet me, but, like, you know, if I could travel everywhere, I would, but I kind of can't. But uh, I think my, uh, my most, like, frequent viewer who isn't an English viewer is actually a German, so I got to go to Germany. Yeah. Gamescom. Yeah. Mm. But it's like PAX Prime is like the same, around the same time, and uh, I'll die. Well, trying you got to pick one. Well, I think mm. I've already, bought, like, I, did, I, did we book a hotel yet for? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I think the most outrageous one that I've gotten is probably like Iran or something like that. Because yeah. like, I get like a couple dozen comments like saying, hey, I'm from Iran. I love your channel. It's like, wow. wow. I, I didn't realize, like, because I don't think that's a very English speaking part of the world. No, so know. it's a little shocking to see where people can come from sometimes. It, I was thinking, I'd, before I, no, sorry, when I got 300,000 subscribers, I did like um, a live stream special. And it was coincidentally the weekend that Ark was free. And that's what I did it on. And uh, I just had, I had this Russian guy. I was like, people in Russia watch me? He was like, I love your videos. So I was like, well, that's cool. <laughs> it's been awesome, yeah. But, uh, you are number one. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. I love your videos. <laughs> So it feels like every YouTuber has that experience where you, you put a lot of work into a video and you're like, man, everyone's going to love this one and nobody likes it. Or it gets like a weird amount of like, it just doesn't get picked up. Yeah. Have you had that experience? And it, could you talk about like what that video was and maybe like why you think it didn't do well or like what you learned from it? Or like Bro, that's my life. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Every now and then you get a video that just doesn't do well for some reason. Like I put a, a, a video on the Hitman, the new Hitman game. Did a series on Hitman, uh, Blood Money, and Absolution. I put out this video and it did way, way worse than all my other videos had done in a while. I was like, what the, what? Come on, guys. Yeah, look, look, then again, I think Jacksepticeye uploaded the same, uh, the same mission like a day before. And I feel like mm. everyone was like, I already watched Jack play it. Not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. There's just so many different factors. Like, I feel like I put a lot of I put a lot of love into every video. Obviously, because sometimes I'll try something different. And I can't really identify if it's like, maybe there's because there's so many factors on YouTube. I don't know. It's hard. You try to identify a pattern. You just try. You just go crazy trying to figure it out. You see with me, it's dinosaurs. So <laughs> if I play a game that doesn't have dinosaurs in it, just put it in the thumbnail. It's like, oh, oh wait, what? I've been tricked. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> you need a dino avatar so you can always have a dino in the in the thumbnail. That's yeah. cool. Like it's a little the raptor gaming dinosaur claw. It's too, it's too late to turn back now. This guy's defining the game, DinoTube. <laughs> DinoTubers, I think. I think that's now a thing. Is it? Yeah, like, you know, like Minecraft tubers. DinoTubers. There's like a few DinoTubers. If you're watching, you know who you are. <laughs> I know you. I did not realize DinoTubing is a thing. It is? No, I did <laughs> you, can make, you can make a YouTube channel yeah, exactly. any passion you want. It's yeah. crazy, man. As long as you enjoy it, I think. Some of the biggest channels right now just open surprise yeah. eggs. video or it could just be like hey like you know yogs cast whatever when i was really really young my friends and i used to love reenacting our favorite movie which was scary movie and it was oh. like we were like 10 so it was totally inappropriate for us to be watching it <laughs> never mind reenacting it um but we would post those well we wouldn't post them because i don't think youtube was around then but we just force our family to watch it um and then once youtube came around i think my family were just kind of relieved that they didn't have to watch it anymore and, yeah. and i would just put that out to the general public but yeah call of duty i started with and it didn't go down well like i said uh the first video i shared I was like most people who first started watching YouTube, cats and people getting hit with things or falling. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the videos I watched, and my parents quickly got annoyed because literally every time they walked by, they were like, hey, hey, hey look, look at this guy. He gets hit in the face with something. <laughs> That's literally all I watched on YouTube at first. Uh, I think I started uh, watching a lot of YouTube and sharing videos with like animations. For those of you guys who know the awesome mm. series done by Ego Raptor, like that was sort of yeah. <laughs> but those are like the things I started watching, and uh, I started driving everyone crazy by sharing. Like, oh my God, Metal Gear! <laughs> <laughs> I just watch the weirdest crap on YouTube. If it's weird, I like it. Like the Yuan Kazoo video. You guys see that video? <laughs> yeah, that one. There's a, there's a chicken yodeling dude. He's just yodeling to some chickens. Videos like that. That's 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 what I usually share with my <laughs> with my friends and fans. It's like, check this out. It's weird. God, I love the internet. It's the beautiful. internet's great. I think like because I've had like six different YouTube channels, like from 2006. It seems like every year I'd be like, ah, let's do another one. Ah, another one. But my first one was actually pretty bad experience. I was um. I was like doing like a sort of parody, like skit, of Beyblade at the time, and uh, we were just like just two friends just messing about, and uh, and then like it got spread around school, and then like I remember walking out of the uh, cafeteria and someone going Beyblade, I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I had I had like people like in because I did distance education courses because like our town was so small there was like no one in school yeah. <laughs> so they're like we can't afford to give you teachers so we're just gonna make you learn online but like I had someone like watching one of my videos like in the computer lab when I had like a cover of a song that I played on guitar and saying it's gone guys don't worry you never have to watch it so uh, speaking of the way that you like watch videos or the way that you like get recognized sometimes because of the way that you're like making videos or watching videos what is the weirdest place you've ever been recognized? Or what is the strangest, like, you're like, I can't believe someone just recognized me in the video store. Or, like, walking out of school is a great one. I got this one. <laughs> so, I was at the grocery store, checking out my groceries. And the cashier was like, my three-year-old loves your videos. 
<laughs> why did you give this kid an iPad? And why are you letting him watch my videos? Of all the channels, like, seriously. I don't know, man. She was just like, yeah, whatever. But then again, I'm not that bad, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> did you do a quick double take of what you were buying? Like, am I, am I, is, like, my grocery list non-judgy? Like, yeah, I was like, oh, God, she knows who I am. Gotta put these canned like beans chicken. back. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing so much? <laughs> <laughs> Canned beans, they're weird, right? Like, you make it some chili? You don't have any other ingredients for chili? Like, just make sure you just eat, are you just eating them with a spoon, dude? Like, <laughs> okay. Uh, I think the weirdest place I was recognized at was a Cheesecake Factory, which... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how they were able to recognize me because my face was like half inundated with cheesecake, but you know, <laughs> perhaps on them for being able to pick me out of that mess. So that's pretty Did cool. Do you eat much cheesecake on your channel? Oh, I, I'm considering oh. it now. <laughs> <laughs> cheesecake sponsorship would be pretty great. Can you imagine? I mean, you know, anyone out there want to toss me some cheesecake to eat in a video? I'm not complaining. So. Hey guys, welcome back. Before we start, we got to eat today's cheesecake. <laughs> Ten minutes to every day, a good time. every single video, you have to eat a full cheesecake before you do it. But you get paid thousands of dollars to do it, so it's like, ah, okay. You use it to buy more cheesecake. There you go. Uh, I went on holiday once to the Philippines because I have some family out there, and I got a load of tweets like, "Hey, you're in the Philippines. Can we meet you?" So I ended up like hanging out with a bunch of Filipino fans at an arcade, and we had like a really good day together. So, but that was like when I first started my channel. So I don't know what it would be like now, but that was really awesome. Lizzie's like, "I go to the Philippines, man." <laughs> <laughs> we should go together. Okay. All right. You guys should go on tour in the Philippines. Yeah, let's uh, let's, let's do it. Let's tell the world. Let's, let's start our Why own start yeah. in the Philippines. Pax Stole Philippines. Philippines. You got it. <laughs> Trademarking it. I think the intellectual property. <laughs> the weirdest one with me um, was a petrol station. Oh, I think it's gas station over here. Is it gas? Yeah. It's, yeah. 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 It's, yeah. it's gas. Yeah. It's, it's petroleum. Okay. okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> it was weird because like all the kids know me for dinosaurs, and um, I actually bought and I didn't tell my girlfriend this. We went went down to collect it. A Ford Explorer painted like the one from Jurassic Park. So it was. <laughs> It turned out to be in pretty bad shape, so it was a bad, bad play on my part. But we went down, uh, we collected it. She was over the moon. Uh, and then I went to like a petrol station, and as I went in, paid for it, came out. And then I heard, Beaver, from like the car next to me. And then the mum was like, oh, I'm not with her, I'm not with her. <laughs> it was just like, that's so weird that that would have happened. <laughs> yeah, that's my weird story. The cringiest thing is when you have like a name like Beaver and people start shouting Beaver at you. Oh, guys, this is cringy. <laughs> There's some Look, people a with really lady. Oh. names. <laughs> I was a shadow lady. Um, the, I haven't been recognized too much outside of conventions, but there was one time when I was on a plane with Wade and we were sitting and I could hear giggling. It was like when we were getting out, off the plane. And at first, I kept looking at these two girls, and they kept giggling and looking at me and Wade. And I was like, for a second there, I kept looking at Wade to see if something was wrong. Like, he had slobber <laughs> on his face or, or food all over him. I was like, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I want to laugh too. It's, it's funny. <laughs> what's and so then funny? And we got off the plane, and they followed us, and they, like, tapped us. And they were like, hey, we, we saw you, but we didn't want to be weird. And I'm like, well, you kind of were. <laughs> <laughs> Just giggle yeah. from a distance. <laughs> uh, okay, so as you're as you were doing your thing, you're like building your channel, starting to get recognized in the streets, and sometimes you know you're trying to hide from the fans. Oh yeah. All the time. Uh, what is there? Is there like a a part of your life that you you're, that is like you could never make a video about because it's just not really relevant to your to your your audience or to your content, but you just love it a lot, like. Or any of you like honey aficionados, or you know, do you like sports? Honey, or something. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you never know. I, I like honey. Bees! <laughs> 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 I don't know about you guys, but some of the games I play, like on my channel, is obviously like Minecraft, and it's really kid friendly. But then, off the channel, Dark I'll play Souls. different games. <laughs> so I'll play like Counter Strike, which is totally wrong for my channel. It just wouldn't fit. I don't know if you guys play anything like that. That's totally that just wouldn't fit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely, I play Counter Strike. I play the Coling. It's just things that wouldn't fit on the yeah. channel. People are not expecting that of me. So it's like, I think it's a good thing to have that kind of separate game where you can go and you can have fun playing it and you're not going to get played out by putting it on your channel and you feel like you don't want to play mm -hmm. it. You have like two different things to go to so you don't get tired out from the stuff that you play on YouTube 
you have like a little avenue, a little escape to play different games and have something to look forward to on both sides. Because the worst thing that could happen to a YouTube gamer is that they get bored of gaming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's because I got a lot of kids that watch me. So if I was to make a... Because I love Dark Souls 3 right now. It's awesome. Uh, <laughs> die a lot. It's great. Um, but I don't want them to click on a video. And they're like, ooh, what's this? And it's like... <laughs> 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 oh, God! And then like the parents are like, what did you do to my child? There's <laughs> stuff in Dark Souls. Yeah. Uh, I think there's... Uh, because I love anime, and I spend inordinate amounts of time watching anime, playing anime games, there's a number of games that uh, I feel like... Well, I could put them on... Well, no, I couldn't put them on my <laughs> channel, and I probably shouldn't, but, you know, there's a part of my life where, like, y- you know how everyone has, like, those skeletons in their closet that they're, they try to Whoa. keep secret? No, mine is my Crunchyroll view history, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. I, I'm a variety channel, so I kind of just play everything. But certain, like, strategy games and things like that don't really do well on YouTube, you know. Uh, kind of people don't really have the attention span for it, I think. And, uh... You know, I used to play a lot of chivalry. Right before I started doing YouTube, I, I used to play a lot of chivalry, but I didn't have time after I started. This, this is the thing. People think, that, oh, YouTubers, they don't do anything. They just play games all day. Yeah, and then I edit them, and then I upload them, and then I make thumbnails. So I, I, I don't even game that much anymore. Right now, I'm playing through Heavy Rain. I feel like that'd be a little too slow for YouTube. So just, you know, me and, me and Ashley playing it together just for fun. Yeah. I, I think it's important for you to, like, yeah, have that separate. Like, I'm just playing Pokemon Blue on my Game Boy. Just, it's nice just to sit down and just not say anything sometimes. Just enjoy Make it. Make videos. <laughs> not saying just silence. My fingers play this game. <laughs> well, I'm always playing Fire Emblem, so. Yeah. Nice. How long does it take you, on average, to edit one video? Let's say it's not a special. It's just, it's a, it's just a run-of-the-mill video for the channel. For me, it's like if the video I could record for like two hours and it's all in like chunks and sections and it's a mess, and then it will probably take about an hour in total to edit and add all the little special things that I add in there. Yeah. Um, and then it's, it used to take me like 10 hours to upload a video, but now it's like five minutes, so that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, run of the mill, probably like one to two hours. It depends on how long it is. If there's a, if I record and it's not like a lot of stuff happening and it's chunky, so it's like chunky. a good ten minutes where nothing happens, you kind of gotta. I watch the entire video through just so I don't miss anything. Yeah. So probably one to two hours just to edit it, and then uploading takes, depending on time too. That's another one to two hours, and really? uploading. Yeah. You, you're still on slow internet still. Oh. They're just really big files. <laughs> okay. They're, they're you, chunky, okay. In America, in America very chunky. internet companies sometimes have like one section. You have one choice, and that's it. Oh, that sucks. It's yeah. pretty fast in the UK uh, now. Yeah. I know yeah, where I live, uh, Seattle, fiber optic. you only get like Comcast, and that's it. Yeah. And everyone there hates it. I don't understand how I live on an island in Canada, yet I get like a, I can get gigabit internet there. Really? Well, they have better internet than I do. Yeah. Huh? Uh. Pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. I think I, I had a point where I was uh, 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 look, doing my normal thing, and then I uploaded a video, and I saw loads of comments, time codes, saying, did the, f- did the, the video freeze for you here? And I'm like, oh, that must be just some, that's just their internet. And then I went through, and it did just freeze. So like now I have to watch all my videos through. So I hate myself. Oh, I have, <laughs> I have somebody watch mine for me just to, to catch any errors. Because nice. by the time I've I'm done editing, that. I've seen it like 15 times yeah. and I just zone out when I'm watching <laughs> it. So I have like a little test audience now. They help me. I hate it, I'm really <laughs> tired and I'm like, like one minute past the cut and I'm like, wait a minute, I don't remember anything that just happened in this video. <laughs> go back and watch it again and again. I think that's the most infuriating part because you have to listen to yourself for several hours on that. And you're like, God, won't this guy shut up? You, know? <laughs> you mean you don't love the sound of your own voice? I used to. <laughs> then I did YouTube. I used to think it was super weird. Now I'm like, ah, it's a normal voice. Don't worry. That's true. I feel yeah, like when yeah. everyone posts their mm-hmm. first video, they're, they're, they always hear their own voice. And they're like, oh, God, do I sound like that? Because yeah, yeah. everyone has that reaction. It's like first. that episode of The Simpsons where it's like, hey, Mom, can, can I don't know who it was. Can you, can you stay in my garage? And she's like, of course you can. <laughs> That's not my voice. That's what they all say. <laughs> so we're here at Polaris or at, at PAX. Got a lot of people that you get to meet here or in, in, at the Polaris booth. What is it like for you guys? So every, you know, we all know what it's like to, to meet someone that we're fans of and all that stuff. But for you guys, when you meet a fan, what is it, what is it like? What are you thinking? Or what do you, you know, what, what's going through your head in that moment? Yes, someone recognized me. <laughs> Thank you. I have friends. <laughs> Finally, the intention I so desperately crave. <laughs> 
I think it's flattering you think anything runs through my head at all, ever. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a really awkward person, so, I mean, they can be kind of shy and, and nervous, and I'm just as awkward and nervous. I'm like, oh, God, what do I say? I don't know what to say to them, because they're expecting us to be, like, just as cool as we are on YouTube. And in You're cool on not. YouTube? Um, no, I pretend. I try. The first thing is, like, don't be awkward. Don't be awkward. Don't be awkward. Yeah. And it always ends up being awkward somehow. There's like a hug instead of a handshake, a handshake instead of hug. Just kind of just ruined the entire experience for them right off the bat by not hugging them or handshaking them. Well, our entire job is to sit in a room by ourselves for several (laughs) hours on end, so it's something that you really don't get used to. I just hate it when like like you meet a fan and they're like, oh my god, I'm sorry to meet you, and then you just stand there looking at you and you're like, (laughs) <laughs> and you're like, okay, it's, do you want a picture? I don't like, know I don't what to say to you. you. <laughs> it's like, you guys want something? You know, I don't, I'm not saying that you definitely need to get a picture with me, but do something, please. <laughs> I'm here. I think it's when they want things signed, and you're like, I don't want to ruin this. This is a really nice hat. Oh, yeah, like <laughs> yeah. phones? Yeah. Just the bare phone, sign this. Yeah. That's going to be on there forever, you know? Yeah. <laughs> sign I might do something hat. and screw up. Something I'd be getting really nervous about is uh, signing shirts, because those things are impossible to sign. Because you try and write your name, the fabric folds, and you're like, well, uh, now I just look like I can't write properly. Thanks, (laughs) Jibu. I had to sign an asparagus once. (laughs) (laughs) Like, somebody brought me, and I wasn't the only person that signed it either, so I had to cram my name on there with several others. Did they just have their lunch handy? (laughs) I don't know why they brought it with them. (laughs) So, uh, I'm, I'm just, just guessing, how many of you guys out here are, have thought about starting your own YouTube channel? Wow. Okay. You can yeah. do it! <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, a lot of people are fans of YouTubers. You guys were, we were all fans of YouTubers before, you know, starting to do in the business. So, what, what would you say to someone who's a fan who loves watching YouTube and thinks they can do it, but they have no idea, and they are terrified to make their first video. What would you say to that person? Just do it. Do it anyway. Do Just it. do it. Whatever game you like playing, do it, because <laughs> yeah. do a, lot it. Of, a lot of people like will start doing it and expect growth and expect something. You can't go into expecting anything, because you go in two, three, it's going to be, for most people, it's years before you start getting a following. Like I started in 2011. I didn't start having a pretty decent following until 2014. So this is a good three years before anything started taking off. So my best suggestion is to do what you want to do. And if if you don't want to commentate, you don't want to have a face cam, that's all your choices. You shouldn't feel like you're forced to do something. Because you're going to – it's your YouTube. It's YouTube. It's your YouTube. It's not someone else's. you got to do your own thing. And if people are enjoying that, you'll see – you'll get a following. And I think – a lot of people like have over 10,000 subscribers think they have nothing. Anybody who gets over 1,000 subscribers is doing something correct. They have an audience. There's, you don't just get lucky from doing that. So just do it and have fun with it. You shouldn't have to go in. You don't go in with any expectations, and you'll have more fun with it. Yeah, I always say, like, don't do YouTube to grow. Do YouTube to improve, because if you improve enough, then people will start watching your videos. You're like, oh, I don't want to do YouTube videos because I'm going to suck. You don't even need to upload it. Just try it. And if you, if you think it's bad or you can decide before you even go in, oh, I'm not going to upload this video. I'm just going to do it as a warm-up before I start actually recording just to see if I can do it. And, like, yeah, don't expect that much. Just, just do it. And every day look at your video and say, you know what, I want to do better than that. I want to do better. I want to be more enthusiastic. I want to be more comfortable and just improve. And eventually people will, you know, start flocking to your channel. I think yeah. what's also important is just enjoying what you do because, yeah. you know, we're all passionate about what we do, and that's why we do what we do. And... I used to be that scared guy looking to upload his first video. We all were at some point. But um, I think it just holds true that, you know, you just got to get out there and do something that you really care about. Because if you just sit there worrying over what I'm going to upload next, what I'm going to do next, where I'm going to go, you know, like, that's not what YouTube's about. It's about indulging yourself as a person. And if people want to come and see that, like, I'm sure they will. Because you're being sincere and you're being genuine with what you care about. And it's not hard to spot, so... Watch your favorite YouTuber's first Let's Play. Yeah, they're all really cringy. <laughs> then it will be okay. Watch Everybody Wade, watch, Wade, 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 watch Wade's, Wade's first, first Let's Play. play. <laughs> do it. Right now. Right now. <laughs> Don't do that. Pay attention to us, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a learning
learning process. Obviously, when you first start out, it's going to be kind of awkward and you don't know what you're doing. But it's I think it's fun to learn and learn how to edit and learn how to, you know, get that uh, audience and grow. And it, you make sure it's fun, though. If it's not something that you want to do, then you can always change your mind. Just don't spend like a thousand dollars on like a really high tech PC yeah. and recording equipment if you're not going to definitely commit to it. You don't have to spend a lot of money to start YouTubing. You don't. Like. Yeah, you can film on a potato for the first, like, year. You can get away with it. The potato cam? <laughs> if you want a good microphone that, that, like, a lot of, like, even big YouTubers use, the Blue Snowball is, like, 50 bucks. You buy it on Amazon. 50 bucks, you got yourself a good microphone that's going to get you through a lot, so. And you should keep everything you do, because when you get big, it'll be awesome to look back at it and be like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the more you do it, the more comfortable you get with it as well. I, I th I'm pretty sure like most YouTubers stop wearing pants at some point when they record, just because <laughs> you have to start wearing pants to stop. Percentage, <laughs> of, percentage of time you're wearing pants while you're recording? Uh, 50. <laughs> probably Sorry. less than half. Less than half. 25% right here? I wear shorts sometimes. <laughs> oh, I'm in pajamas I really, like 90% really of the time. I haven't tried this yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wake up and put on jeans and I'm like, I'm ready for the day. Well, once you start, you can't go back. I gotta just, is it, is I, that, oh, okay. It's a slippery slope. I got to oh, fill no. my wardrobe with just really comfy like lounge pants and just wear those all day. Can you imagine if you were like, right, time for work, you get out of bed, you put on like a full business suit, ready for work. You don't? And then you, you, you scoot over like two meters to get on your desk, which is right beside the bed. <laughs> I want to. I want to just wear suits just because they look good. I'm like I want to wear a suit. Okay, I'm important. <laughs> you should do a suit series. Suit series. Yeah. It'll be just like like formal let's play. You should have played Hitman in the suit. That's what you oh, should yeah. have done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you did wrong. That's what you did wrong. <laughs> and I'll shave my head. <laughs> just for that one video. It'll grow Please back. do. <laughs> I would love to see that. <laughs> I'll just wear a bald cap. Is that what they call them? The things that make you look bald, I wear one of those. That's a bald cap, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so to get philosophical for a second, how do you think that gaming YouTube or Let's Plays have shaped internet culture? It's a big question. I don't even have an answer for that. I don't even know if there is an answer. But how do you think that Let's Plays have shaped internet culture? Um, I think it, uh, the big Let's Play YouTubers set a trend for what's played on YouTube. When you see the biggest person play a game, then, you know, a lot of other people want to play that game. They see it. I, I think, like, Five Nights at Freddy's, Slender, those kind of games would not have taken off the way they have if it wasn't for the Markiplier's playing that game and making it as big as it was. So I think the uh, game developers have kind of shifted. They used to be kind of against us, but now they're kind of mostly for us because they see how much of an impact just playing one of their games on our channel can have. Like, Surgeon Simulator is another game that blew up because people were just playing it, thought it was funny, and wanted to try it themselves. Yep. I think all it's also just sort of made up. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just saying all the weird indie games. Like, yep. they're, I feel like they're almost targeted at YouTubers to be like, oh, so, yeah. Who's your daddy? There's poop yeah. in my head. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to say yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think what's the coolest thing about uh, gaming YouTube taking off is it's, it's become a bit more proliferous for gaming to just be like generally accepted. Because I remember earlier on in the gaming days, in like the 90s, early 2000s, it was sort of a more niche thing. Not a lot of people I knew gamed, and I felt like it was a little less socially acceptable to be a gamer. And I remember mm -hmm. uh, this because uh, my parents always gave me all sorts of hell just for like playing video games in my room all the da time. And, uh, suck it, mom, look where I am now. For <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, That's like, great. I feel like it's just made everything so much more acceptable because we're all a community now. Like, we all get to share the things that we love and we don't get to be ashamed about it anymore. I think the biggest thing I think that YouTube has shown, just YouTube in general, is that you can be anybody, anybody, and you can somehow get an audience and, you know, do something with a YouTube channel. You don't need to be a Tom Cruise or an Oprah Winfrey to be famous and have success. It's crazy. You can be anybody. You, you still chose be, to be you. you yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is there? Is there? A <laughs> Bring them back. Uh, no. <laughs> no. We just saw like something really magic just happen here. Crumbled piece of paper. I'm gonna eat this bar. I'm gonna do it. I don't know. Like, d can we talk about the fact there's bite marks in this microphone? There's bite marks on it. <laughs> Those are bite marks.
marks right there. I don't, those are actually bite marks. They're on the side. I, I, look at this. I can't believe you're handling that. Look at my face. So, so, <laughs> that was in someone's mouth. Something, someone, who knows? Someone's really passionate about panels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very hungry. Do you, so do you guys have, speaking of being anybody, do you guys have a weird corner of YouTube that you think is fascinating that you just like, oh man, this is, this is, this is interesting. Like for me personally, I'm, I'm really interested in the weird, the, the train, the train YouTubers, like people that just put YouTubes of, put YouTube videos up of trains. And oh, like they're really excited the about seeing a really, train yeah. go past. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen that video, yeah. And then they, sometimes they'll talk about the engineering of the train. Like, okay, so you see this one, it has this thing. That's why it can take more tonnage. I'm like, this is amazing. Why are they so fascinated by this? Yeah, exactly. I think for me, it's the, the Japanese game shows and j Japanese stuff in general. Is so like that, that culture is so bizarre to me, but I find it really fascinating. I love the reaction cameras. Like little face cams in the corner, people going, oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's so like hyper and high energy. I yep. love it. I love it. Crazy, man. I love Japanese. I think ASMR is something that's really... You guys have seen those, right? Where it's like, this is a video of me scratching my beard for 10 minutes. <laughs> he scratches his beard. Because I actually have a friend who's really into ASMR. And every time I show him one of these videos, I just get super weirded out. But he sits back and just closes his eyes. He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. It's like, it's something that like people didn't really know about until the internet came along. And it's like, yep, you can feel good by listening to somebody crinkle some paper. <laughs> Listen carefully. There you all your ASMR viewers out there. That's all they do. It's like stuff like that. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you my favorite section of the internet. It's the like purposely bad stuff. Like, uh, has anyone seen Ice JJ Fish, the rapper? Yeah. There's something about that girl. <laughs> that guy. He's amazing, and he's like he's, he's purposely bad. Like all his videos are horrible, and he has half a million subscribers. And then there are other guys who like. Um, this one guy's name is Kevin Newsman. I think he's got like a few thousand subscribers. <laughs> You know it. You know who he is. <laughs> she knows. He's like, hey, 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 guys. I, I, I'm, I'm Kevin. I'm Kevin Newsman. And he's like, he just, he just purposely like <laughs> does that and like just is he's awkward as possible. And there's another guy named Carl Amberlamps who, and they're like friends and they like they write like hate comments on each other's videos. Like you're not, you're not a good YouTuber. I'm a good YouTuber. And I actually got like messages from them because I comment on their videos and it's like, hey, can you, can you like, you know, can you give me a shout out? <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's it's hilarious. I just love it. I love I love purposely bad things, especially when people don't understand. I just followed an Instagram account and she just trolls constantly. And there's people in, in, replying like, no, you're you're stupid. I can't believe you thought that. I'm like, I can't believe you thought they were serious. <laughs> And it's one big circle. I'm like, are they tro are they pretending to be surprised by this person who is trolling? I don't know, bro. That's just the internet as a whole. Everyone's <laughs> getting trolled. I think it's it's great. <laughs> so we have time, I think, for some questions. Uh, the way we're going to do it is, uh, if you want to raise your hand, we'll we'll call you out. Maybe instead of uh, why don't you guys take turns deciding who you want to hear from, and then we'll we'll get some questions. And Lauren or Al will uh, will take the mic to you guys. So, uh, so Matt, why don't, you, why don't you decide? Who's the first question? Guy with the sunglasses on. I think you're wearing sunglasses. I think these saucy looks would come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't have Man, this is like the best restaurant I've ever been in. So, <laughs> once you have the sort of momentum going, what's the best way to keep it going, so to speak? Okay, basically, you do a video. If the video does good, you do more of that type of video. And adapt as well. And like, adapt, yeah. 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 You, you know, you, you got to... People, people will insult you, oh, you're following trains, you're hopping on bandwagons. How do you but think that's how you do works? it. That's, that's how you that's play the happens. game. Yeah, so you just, you know, you just, you just, you get out there and, you, and, you, and you, you look and you say, okay, my fans like this, let's do some more of it. You can do things to bring in new fans sometimes, you know. It's not, like, you got to balance it, I think. you got to make your, your fans happy and you also need to make the people who have never seen your videos before happy. So, you know, if you throw in too many inside jokes all the time, people are like, who the hell, what is going on? I don't know, I'm not going to subscribe. So, yeah, you just got to, you just got to kind of, keep it going and know what your audience wants. Well, you also get requests a lot of the time, I feel like. You look through your comments, a lot of people want you to play this game or that game because they want to see how you react to it. Yep. <laughs> Please play Honey Pop, Matt. Honey Cam is a new thing. Everyone's playing That's that true, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but before, so before you've gotten noticed, though, like, how do you know if you're, like, doing the right thing or not? Like, oh, you, the, don't. The, you the don't. Three years, I still don't know if I'm doing the right yeah, thing. It's yeah. just, like, you know, you just do it. So, okay, so basically you're saying to embrace the fact that you just don't know. It's yes. trial and error. Yeah, like, you yes. have no, no, like, does anybody at this table feel like you have 100% confidence in what's the right thing to do for YouTube? No. 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 <laughs> okay, so 
everybody can feel good about not knowing what the right decision is, right? But yeah. hey, that's YouTube. It's okay yeah. to be yeah. wrong sometimes. I'm confident in my non-confidence. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, why don't you call the next one? All right. Uh, let's go with the guy in the Pika hat. Quick questions with like the don'ts of YouTubing. Like, what would you suggest to avoid when you're starting out? Hmm. Um, I feel like you should just avoid anything that's just avoid general negativity because like yeah. people don't always seem to realize this, but YouTubers are we have like things outside in our daily lives that stress us out and weigh on our shoulders, but we can't bring that into our videos because when you make a video, you're there to have a good time. You want to have a good time. You want your audience to have a good time, so you can't drag that sort of stuff in with you because that just brings your whole audience down. And that's not the kind of, uh, that's, not, that's not the emotion that we wish to push onto other people, you know? So, advertising. Don't be a Debbie Donor. Advertising is a big thing. You don't want to, like, if, you know, it, it's great that you want to be, like, your favorite YouTuber kind of thing, but if you go spamming on their channels, you might get banned from their channel for doing that. I mean, I ban a lot of people who are just like, hey, you, if you like my comment in the next 10 minutes, I'll subscribe to you on 24 accounts. And it's like, that's literally a comment that I've gotten recently. Yeah. I because will subscribe to you on 24 accounts. Because no. they posted that on everyone's. That's not just like something that was written for you or your channel. Yeah, They've yeah, written yeah. that on every YouTuber's channel. It doesn't feel like, they can even say, oh, so-and-so is my biggest inspiration and that's why you should subscribe to me but they've just copy and pasted that and changed the name around and that yeah. like that that doesn't feel authentic so i would yeah. say don't mm -hmm. do that I would by say the way you guys should check out jin bob he's pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> i would say stay away from drama stay away from drama that's the best advice i think but then again these days if you the drama is bringing in the views man yeah i, I feel I see, like there's a whole lot of stuff can we like get into a fight i mean this is being recorded right like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, on the panel viewers. drama. Yes! <laughs> Throw some salt that way. <laughs> I would say don't let your audience change what you want to do. Like, you can always take requests, do what people want to see, but as long as it's in what you want to do, don't, like, if you're playing, like, Surgeon Simulator or something, somebody's like, let's go, go play Call of Duty. I want to see that. And it's like, mm. I've never played Call of Duty. I don't know if I'll enjoy that. It's just, like, something totally separate. So... You can take requests, but I would say always do what you want to do in the end. It shouldn't be what your audience wants you to do, because then it's not your channel anymore. Yeah. You got to remember that the comment section is a minority. Okay, like there's like you're gonna get a few thousand comments and, and say like ten thousand or like fifty thousand views. Let's say like very small number of your fans are actually commenting. So you know don't take what they say as being the general consensus on the channel. You know? And they're the ones with like the extreme views as well. Yes, so those are those are the polarized ones. Yeah, I'd say don't feel pressured. You'll probably end up having like a series that's really popular, and you might have another game that you play if, if you're doing Let's Play. And there may be comments on that video that say, "No, I want you to play this one." It's just don't listen to them. Yeah, I, don't I, let them I limit find, you yeah. if you want to do more variety. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep being you. It's YouTube, and ignore the haters. Block them out. Block out the haters. Can you do that anymore? Block people. Yeah. 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 You, yeah you can, can block. You can, you can hide this user's comments from your yeah. channel. Oh, that's it's it, like yes. a shadow ban so they don't know that their stuff is being hidden. Yeah. Oh, God, it's out now, then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. None Next of those people are oh. here. They're all awesome. Yeah. yeah thanks, guys. Yeah. Uh, why don't you call the next question? Um, I'm going to say green headphones. Hello. Hello. Uh, all right. Um, you can do it. You can take, take all the time. <laughs> oh, we deep, believe deep in you. Okay. Um, take them away from the microphone. <laughs> Move uh, away from the mic to breathe. <laughs> we all know that trick. Um, so, is it necessary for? Uh, do you think it's necessary for your first let's play to have it so that you've beaten the game all the way through before? Oh, no. Because I have not, because there's like one game, there's mm. very few games I've beaten. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I, th I think it's like, it depends. If like sometimes your reaction to not knowing what's coming up is what they want to know. Uh, but if you're doing like speedruns and stuff, then I'd say yeah to that. It just depends what type of content you do. Yeah. It's up to you, really. I mean, you don't have to, but if you if you if it's a type of game where you're gonna have a lot of issues, if you if you don't haven't already played it and you're gonna screw up a lot, but how how am I gonna know if I'm gonna have lots of issues? Just do I, it. If, <laughs> if I haven't played it before, it depends. It depends on the type of game. If it's a what strategy kind of game games? or something, it could be. What uh, kind of game? I've I've played uh, Little Big Planet two to completion. Okay. Uh, so you want to like do videos on that? Yeah, that was, that was that was my plan. 
just fiddle around and do whatever. I, I probably, played, probably actually play the story. You know. I played Little Big Planet, never played the story. I only play maps, and I'm totally fine. People love it when I suck. So. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, people do. I'm mean, pretty it bad at video games. Fail. I could suck. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I guess I'll pass it all. Thank you. All right, you next question. <sighs> so much pressure. <laughs> uh, I'm going with her in the front row. Um, what do you guys think about the minor YouTubers who put bigger YouTubers' names in their title thinking that people are like, oh, these YouTubers are going to be in my video, so it will get more views? I feel like they're not realizing that all those people that are coming in are just going to leave instantly. And all they're doing is getting a lot of dislikes and a lot of... And anybody who goes to that video, even if they change the title, they'll see the amount of dislikes and they'll be like, well, this is... Probably not good, so yeah, I'm going to really leave. Yeah, you're shooting yourself in the foot when you yeah. do that because people go there expecting one thing and they see something else, so it's kind of disappointing to someone to, to go there and find find that it's not what they were expecting. So I and came across a random video. It was like, with Meche? I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not in this video. I mean, it personally doesn't anger me or anything. Like, I know it really angers some people when they, their name is used, mm -hmm. but I feel like, for me, it's not really that much of an issue. Like, a lot of the ones I see is, like, they've done a speed art of me or something, oh, and that's yeah, totally that's fine, fine yeah, yeah, to yeah. use it when it's it, relevant. If it's not misleading and, and spammy, it's right. different, you know? If, if it's actually about a YouTuber in some way, that's different than if you're just like, I'm playing a game with this person, not... Yeah, the title, like, LD Shadow Lady died. I'd be like, well, <laughs> oh, that's right. not really true. That's not what <laughs> It's actually a really interesting thing that, uh, I don't know how many people know this, but the algorithm on YouTube is based on watch time now. Yeah, so yeah. it's really important. It used to be that you could just do clickbaity stuff and your videos would go up and like, oh, as long as you got the click and the view, it was good. They need both. Uh, but yeah, but now you, it's, all, it's all based on watch time. So the, like the search and the like relevance and the, the, the videos that get promoted are all based on watch time. So they're always looking at how long do people watch the video after they click on it. So you really like, it's really important to like title and, and thumbnail in a ways that is accurate to what you're doing. Yeah. And like so, you said, it's like okay to do it, but it has yeah. to be relevant. If it is misleading, people are gonna realize after like five seconds yeah. and that, that yeah, watch time's gonna be really short. Yeah, you're yeah. not doing yourself any favors. Or you could make yeah, a yeah. five second video so they watch the whole thing. <laughs> 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 Secrets of YouTube right here. <laughs> All right. Next question. Oh, a man. lot of questions. Now you got the pressure. Um, where's the microphone? Can we just have someone like way over there? Can't really see over there. Just pick anyone. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, just before I ask my question, I just want to say my friend told me to tell Matt Shea that his eyebrows were on fleek. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my question is: Do you think, um, like most viewers, like most viewers and subscribers, most of your fans come because of Skills, or do you think they come because of luck? Skills? For me, definitely not skills. Definitely <laughs> well, not yeah. skills. I don't think skills, skills is even a word that I know. I think it's important skills, to be luck. more on the entertaining <laughs> side as a YouTuber. I don't think I think a lot of YouTubers are more entertaining than they are actually good at the game. It's about it's about entertaining your audience. Well, like by skills, I mean like video quality and. Oh. Like oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, in that case, I think it's a balance of both. Yep. Like, if somebody's hilarious and they have bad quality, people are still going to watch them. And they'll eventually upgrade their quality when, you know, they've made it a little bit and they have a lot of subscribers. But It does help, though, to have a yeah. decent-looking thing. So Because it's going to attract people because people yeah. don't know in the first five seconds whether you're entertaining or not, but they know whether the quality is going to be good or not. So. Yeah, that's interesting, actually, because I remember doing my first sort of Let's Play thing. Cause I don't know if you can it works anymore, but, like, because I think capturing programs weren't really around at the time, so it was just yeah. a camcorder, and I was sort oh, of dear. underneath the tripod, just sort of moving it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if people still do that. It was more acceptable back yeah, then. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of like uh, free and like easy to use recording software floating around these yeah. days. I, I, know I personally, yeah, I personally use OBS, OBS which best. is free and open to everyone. It, so. I'm pretty sure you can, you can capture anything. There's game capture, window capture, monitor capture. So like, boom. And if you, you don't know how to do it, YouTube tutorials oh, are really yeah. helpful. All right, let's get someone from the back, uh, way, way back there, all the way at the end, in the black sweater or whatever it is. I can't even see over there. <laughs> way, way, way back there. <laughs> way, way, way back. You just want to make a I run, can't see you? you, but I will hear you. <laughs> <laughs> is it okay if I have two questions? Uh, one, I think so. There's, there's a lot of questions, so if you could choose one, that would be great. What's the most extreme reaction you've ever gotten from a fan? You, like, you mean like meeting them? 
Yeah, sure. I had a girl cry in Omegle. She was just like, oh my god, it's Matt Chance. Like, I'm not even there. Like, you know, <laughs> you're looking at a video of me. I mean, I haven't got anything worse than that. I think, I, yeah, I've when crying. people cry. Yeah. You've had crying. She's crying. Yeah, I had, a, I had one on Omegle that she was crying so bad her father came up. Oh, God. Oh, and I felt so bad. And he's like, oh, she loves you. She talks about you all the time. And she goes, stop crying. He's right there. <laughs> 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 and it just embarrassed her even more. And I'm just like, I'm just sitting there like, this is awkward. <laughs> I never know how to react to those because I always feel like I did something wrong. It's like, I'm sorry, does my presence offend you? I didn't <laughs> just a normal human being. Or s- sort of normal. I try to be, at least. I try to be a normal human being. All right, next question, Matt. Okay. Oh, uh, what type bad. of game oh, do you God. think that new YouTubers should start playing like a genre? Like horror or... Like adventure. Like what when I, people what start won? out, what you, what I would recommend for them to play. Is that the question? Yeah. Yeah. Like um, what to start? It all depends. It's like it's got to be what you want to do. If like I would say right now, the trend or, or like what people seem to be very interested in is uh, games that have no point. Indie They're games. funny. <laughs> um, yeah. They just want to see somebody play it and do something stupid with it. That's that's kind of the trend. Way back when, 2010, 2011, it was like Call of Duty. That was the big mm. thing. And then it or, turned into Minecraft. Yeah, and Minecraft. Then, and now Five it's kind of. Yeah, so it, it's constantly evolving, but like you could pick something that hasn't been picked at I, all. It hasn't been big on YouTube, and it can become big. It's really what yeah. you want to do. It's like that's strictly what it is. I feel like there's an audience for everything. So I feel like yeah. the PewDiePie bait thing, you know, like baiting, making games because you know people like PewDiePie are going to play it. That kind of started with the goat simulator thing and just went crazy yeah. from there. Yeah. Like, it's just no, like, if you play a, a game that nobody else has played, you might get some views, but you might not because nobody's watching your videos already. You might not show up in search results. So there's no real way to do it. I don't know. It's like its own I, genre now, isn't it? Yeah. Things PewDiePie has done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Matt, who's the next uh, let's go with you back there. Yes. I'm digging your jacket, by the way. Oh, thank you. Banana Republic. <laughs> <laughs> um, not to um, alienate most of the panel, but a uh, lovely lady on the right. Oh, hi. Uh, I went to a panel yesterday about women hi. in gaming and game development. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're lovely. You're very entertaining, by the way. But, um, I was just wondering, have you ex- experienced anything like like challenging or different from being a girl gamer, whether good or bad? I mean, there's um, a lot of girls in here, mm. and I'm sure yeah. that's mm. something that they'd like to know. I mean, in general, when I'm gaming, depending on the game, it's really dependent on the community of d- different games. So when I'm playing Counter-Strike, yeah, I face a lot of um, hostility about my gender, but on YouTube it's kind of a lot more welcoming, um, especially in my community, which is like the Minecraft community, branching into like indie games and stuff. Yeah, you play a lot of cheerful games, it's good. Yeah, like cheerful games breed cheerful cheerful people, and then they're not so sexist, but (laughs) (laughs) there's definitely some, some kind of, way deep down, there's some people that are really not happy to see females succeed in the gaming industry, but... Um, luckily, it's not something I have to deal with much anymore, which is good. In but. general, like on the internet, you're going to get treated worse as a woman. Right. It's just that, like, especially things like Instagram, you're going to get a lot of crappy comments and things yeah. like that. But I think it's getting better, so that's yeah. always that to look forward to. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to play favorite. I'm sorry, the one wearing the same jacket <laughs> as I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Um, I, was wa- I was just wondering... If you're starting out on YouTube, do you think it's better to try doing videos by yourself or with other people as well? Whatever you feel like is better, I feel like. As, like. as long as you have fun doing it. Because I know there's a lot of people who want to go into YouTube doing things with their friends because, you know, they enjoy doing it with their friends. And um, whatever you feel like works, whatever you feel like you want your channel to be, just get out there and do it. Just have fun. Yeah, Please. Like, just, just try and have fun. A lot of I people like, yeah. a lot of people ask questions because they don't know where to start. And, like, honestly, we don't have a lot of the answers because we just started off doing what we felt was right. We just yeah. enjoyed what we did. And that's sort of, it's just a progression from there. A variety is good, I think, because then you can show your friends and you're, it's easier with your friends because you can kind of have a little banter off them and really go back and forth. Um, So you can show how fun you are when you're with friends, but then also some solo stuff so you can really show yourself because I 
know that people say sometimes I get lost in multiplayer stuff because there's a lot going on and they don't really see much of me. So some, some videos people like to see just me, just my failures. I prefer like yes. one one and one rather than like, if you get like more than two people in a collab, I find it just gets kind of confusing. It's very yeah. hectic, so be yeah. careful about the too many people. Some people like that though. Some people like the hectic, you know. Depending on the game, it can work well. Yeah. All right, let's try to bang through a couple of quick questions. So uh, let's keep our answers quick so we get it to as many people as we can. Is it the guy in the back with the blue shirt? Is it a blue shirt? Yeah. Okay, well, well, let's say your channel has been, been, been stacking, like, like views have sort of been, been around the same, same, same amount for the past, past, past few months. And subscriber count isn't going up, uh, and and things like that. How do you how do you stay motivated to 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 keep on doing what you're doing? Honestly, like the best way is I think people get too into oh yeah I'm doing really good oh yeah look at my views. I think it's best just to ignore that sometimes, because if you see that spike go down, it can sometimes affect your content. So. It's always better to stay away from negativity in that sort of respect and just do what you enjoy. Yeah, if, I find. If, if you're starting YouTube for the wrong reasons, you might get like that. Yeah. Uh, or sometimes you just need to take a break and step back because, I mean, you know, YouTube is a lot different than just playing games by yourself. But you've got to have fun. At the end of the day, if you're not having fun, then, you know, there's really no point of continuing doing your YouTube channel. Maybe also, like focus who's on already watching rather than who else could watch. Just entertain the ones that already are watching. I just love what you do. Like honestly, if you enjoy YouTube, you'll always be motivated to start mm -hmm. to keep creating stuff. Okay. Thank you. All right. You I'm going to go with the little lady in the red shirt there. Do you want do you want on that shirt? <laughs> That's my face. Oh. <laughs> Come on. See? Um so when did you realize that you were like getting big in the gaming industry? Mm. I don't really know. Um, I don't think it was like I woke up one day and I was like, hey, I have more subscribers than yesterday. Um, <laughs> no, I feel like I've really made it. But I guess when people that I look up to, that, that I watch their videos, were reaching out to me and they were like, hey, I love what you do. I want to do some videos with you. I was like, oh, I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> they noticed me. Like, that's literally what it's like when you're YouTube. We still found yeah. you on the inside. When, when like, because I watch YouTubers and I... F I'm fans of certain YouTube channels. When YouTube channels that are established come up to you and say that they watch you, that's the moment like, whoa, okay. Someone actually watches me. Someone of importance. Like, someone who has subscribers <laughs> watches me. It's like, holy crap, like, I'm important enough. But, yeah, that, I guess that's the moment where you're like, because you kind of, you, you're a fan of another channel, so you know what it feels like to be a fan. So when somebody comes up to you and says so they're a fan and they do their own YouTube channel. It's kind of like, I guess, it's 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 kind of rewarding to see that because you're kind of validated by one of your peers mm. that's they're enjoying your content. You're doing it kind of like, oh, I'm doing something right. Yeah, I'm I think just not me, really bad at games, and everybody likes mm -hmm. watching me fail. Awesome. I think the crowning moment of woe for me was uh, when I received my first comment from someone who said they looked up to me and they idolized me. I was like, whoa, I actually mm. really make a difference in someone's life. That's astounding. Yeah. And at the same time, terrifying to me because yes. someone, <laughs> someone looks up to me as a role model. But um, I think that's sort of the moment where I was like, all right, this is a little bit serious. I matter to mm. other people's lives now. I think like with views and subs, it's, it's kind of weird because I, I, it's not real. I don't have like that many of anything. So it's it's like it just becomes numbers. Yeah. But it's when you like come to places like this and like if a fan recognizes you, even just one, it like it's like oh my god, that's crazy. And then even like now, and I'm seeing you guys, I'm like, this ain't real. Like, You're <laughs> fake. This is all real. <laughs> one last question. Oh, no more questions. Thank that's you for so your welcome. question, by the way. Sorry, no yes. more questions. Thank you guys for coming. Please give a round of applause for these guys for sharing their insights. Good job.